Welcome back, Wookie Scientists. I hope you enjoyed the explanation video from last time. Today, we're doing something new. We are making something. We are making a material called oobleck. Now, oobleck is something called a non-Newtonian fluid, but we'll get to what that means later. What you're gonna need for this, you need a mixing bowl, or something large to mix it, uh, your oobleck up in. I have this jug here. You need some water. I've got about half a cup of water here. That's important, half a cup. You need some corn flour or corn starch. Optional, I've got some food coloring, but that's completely optional. And you need some scissors. Now, the reason I say you need scissors is because you need scissors to open the packet the corn starch is in. Otherwise, what you see before you happens and what you see before you happens, you will end up covered in corn starch. Now, what you're gonna do you need half a cup of water, like I said, and about a whole cup of corn flour. Now, it doesn't matter if you use different amounts, but the ratio between the two, so the amount of water to corn flour, is one part water, two parts corn flour. All right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop my corn flour in. <laughs> it, this is going to be a messy thing. I might add to my kneading list you need perhaps some plastic to put down or to be doing this in a place that you don't mind getting a little bit messy. Check with your parents first. Uh, I'm gonna add my water in there. Now you're gonna mix it up. Now you can mix up the spoon, you can use what you like. I'm gonna use the spoons that I was given. There, you're gonna mix that right round. And it's gonna feel really funny as it's mixing. It's gonna feel a mixture of runny a bit uh, runny and quite solid. Now, if after adding your half amount of water, all the corn flour hasn't dissolved, you're gonna need to grab a little bit more water and add that in. So what I've got here is my, a little bit extra water. Bit at a time, you can always add, but you can never take away. That's what my mum told me. Any sort of mixing recipe that is. And trying to get all those bits there broken up. It's going to feel really gooey and it looks really gooey as well. Okay, take two. Um, I needed a bit more corn flour in my oobleck. It should look, it should look runny until you start to shake it or stir it. And then you'll know that if it starts forming those little lines there, those crease lines, as if it's not quite a liquid, it feels like putty or something like that, um, then you've got your mixture right. It does take a bit of doing. It's not, it's one of those things where it's not an exact science. So you should find now when you're stirring it, if you're using a spoon or your hand, uh, there'll be some resistance. It won't feel like you're stirring like water, if people stir water. Stir tea, people stir tea. It won't feel like you're stirring tea. Now, <laughs> uh, it'll feel really solid as you try and stir it. That's because as you're stirring, you're exerting pressure on the oobleck. So it goes from a liquid to a solid in those specific points where you've exerted pressure. Now, the challenge for you to do, I want you to make a ball of it. Make a ball of this substance in your hands. So you need to scoop it out. I'm gonna try this on camera. It's quite tricky. You can take a, a ball of it, scoop it, and pass it from hand to hand, just like I've done here. Look, eyes closed as well. I can do it with my eyes closed, woo! Um, <laughs> uh, it should form a nice solid ball that you can see. But you must be thinking, it's like, oh, but sir, um, that's just putty. That's not a solid, that's not a liquid, that's not a solid. It's like, actually, I guarantee you, its state is solely determined now by the pressure I'm exerting on it, because if I stop exerting pressure on it, right there, it slowly, slowly turns back into liquid snot. Ugh! Ugh! Gooey and horrible. That's a fun, exciting experiment that you can do at home. I'd love to see your photos, your videos. I loved the videos and photos people sent me from the last experiment. They were amazing. Please keep that up. They're brilliant to see. Um, I'd love to see them for this one as well. Now. This is the point where this is the end of my video. This is a fun experiment to do at home. What you can do now, you can like the video. It helps. 
you can subscribe to the channel and see all the videos that I'm going to release in the future. You can also send me your suggestions, put those in the comments. I'd love to know what you want to see. Would you like to know the science behind a certain fact or certain experiment that you've seen? Within reason, I can do most of these things and make them happen and make it fun and exciting for you to do as well. In the meantime, I've been the Wookiee Scientist. You've been amazing. May the science be with you and I'll see you next time. Take care.